Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I have a super exciting unboxing for you guys. I was able to get my hands on the Not Polished Mystery Boxes, so I'm not going to waste any time. Let's go ahead and hop into this unboxing. So this is my box here. I do want to give just like a quick backstory on um, how it was ordering from Not Polished. So this was my first time actually ordering from their website and I will say it was kind of a stressful situation. And so um, the day that they dropped the boxes, I think it was a week before Black Friday. It was like the Friday before Black Friday. And when they dropped the boxes, um, I think their website crashed because they said they'd be available around 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I hopped on the website at that time, um, tried multiple times to place the item in my cart and check out. It was unsuccessful. And I was like, what is going on? So I tried that for like 45 minutes. And then I was like, let me hop on their Instagram and see what's going on. So I hopped on their Instagram and they had this PSA saying everybody get off the website because the site's crashing and to come back around 2 o'clock in the afternoon to try to place the order. And I'm like, okay, it's a little strange that a uh, company's telling you to like get off of their website. Typically, they're trying to get you on the website, but I understood it was like, you know, it was over capacity or whatnot. And so um, I hopped off the website and I got back on like around two o'clock, three o'clock. And I tried again for like another hour and a half to place my order. And I was like, well, I had somewhere I needed to be. I had like an hour and a half drive ahead of me. So I was like, let me go ahead and go to where I need to go. And so actually, you guys, while I was driving, and I know that's dangerous, I was, I was constantly trying to add the item to my cart and check out. And um, after another 45 minutes, I was finally able... They, I saw that they processed my card and I never got an order confirmation number on my checkout screen. I went ahead and submitted my order again and then it charged my card again and then it finally uh, gave me an order confirmation number. And I was thinking as long as I had an order confirmation number, I should be good. And so that was that. I, like I said, I was on my way somewhere so I didn't even have a chance to really think too much more about it. And so a couple of days later, I realized I never got a confirmation email, you know, confirming that my order went through. And then I checked my credit card statement and I saw that they had charged me twice. And I said, whoa, hold on. <laughs> so I went ahead and emailed them and it, I did not get a response from email, but I had hopped on their Instagram again to see what was going on because it seemed like they had more updates going on over there. And I went ahead and emailed them. And y'all, when I say in, in less than a minute, they responded to my inquiry. They double checked my order. They said it had went through um, and they said that they would refund me for the two for one of the charges. And so I was happy about that so they refunded me and um i still never got a confirmation via email but my package is here and so that's what really matters and so yeah the process was a little bit stressful placing this order it took me i guess a total of like four hours to actually get this order placed which i don't think i've ever had to like work so hard to place an order in my life um <laughs> Um, so I, I, I do think that the checkout process should be a lot easier um, to get the boxes. But anywho, um, I have mine and I ordered the small and I ordered the medium. It took me about two weeks to get the order, um, which given, you know, the site crashing and, you know, it being around Black Friday, you know, I'm not too mad about the process in time. Um, but I do wish I could have had like more updates and stuff about it, like via email. <laughs> Um, and, and honestly, you guys, I've had my box for about a week now. And honestly, I've watched so many unboxings in which people were disappointed. I was afraid to open my box due to fear of disappointment, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. But I am going to go ahead and unbox it with you guys and give you guys my thoughts on it, you know? So, yeah, let's hop into it. Right here, you guys can see I ordered both the medium and the small mystery box. Ooh, okay, so this is the two boxes here. So this one here looks like the small and this one here looks like the medium. So I'm going to go ahead and put this over to the side and I'll be right back. This here is the small mystery box and it does say it's not polished babes. And it says do it better on here, okay? Um, so let's see what we got in this one. So, okay, so again, the box is really cute though. It has not polished babes, do it better on here. And then on the inside, they have their tissue paper that's uh, themed pink and red, which is really cute. All right, so let's go ahead and get her open. Y'all, I'm so nervous about this. Lord, please tell me I got good items in my box. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, so we have a bunch of little peanuts here. So I'm gonna just move these over to the side. Okay. Okay, so the first item I see here is some nail tips and it looks like extra long coffin nails and it comes with 600 of them. Okay, I'm not mad at that. Let's take a look here. You can never have too many nail tips. I like 
that they're the coffin extra long. Um, Y'all know I'm getting into doing extra long nails. Ooh, okay. These nail tips are of nice quality though. Yeah, these nail tips are of really nice quality. So it's a big C curve on it, a nice length here. Let's see what it looks like on the nail. So definitely a lot longer than what I would normally wear, but super cute. I will be giving these a try. I actually recently got some of these off of Amazon. They look just like this and the quality feels just the same. But yeah, these are really nice nail tips. Next, let's see here. Looks like I got a couple of the gel polish duos. So I got... Ooh, this is a pretty color. Okay, so this is their duo pack in um, royalty gel. Royalty gel. This is a really gorgeous blue. Oh my goodness, I love it. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. So what's cool is they have these duo packs where they have the gel polish on. They have the gel polish and the matching lacquers. So let's go ahead and see what this color looks like. And I'm curious to know what the consistency of their gel polishes are. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, I do like the consistency of their gel polishes. They are, they're medium viscosity, which is really nice. They feel really creamy and luxe. <laughs> so yeah, this is a really gorgeous color, by the way, too. And um, this is their packaging. I, I, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of like the metallic red packaging, but it is pretty. Um, but I can't say that it's something I'll put like put on display in my nail room. So I got this duo pack. Um, I also received this duo pack here. Ooh, I got a nude. It's called Dare You. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a look at that. Wow. I'm excited for this. Ooh. This is a really pretty nude, and it has like this really nice kind of slight shimmer to it. This is gorgeous. Wow, you guys. Okay, so far so good. So far I'm happy with what I got, you know? So we got um, a new gel polish as well. And then the last one we have here is... Blissful Purple, okay? So let's take a look at this one. Okay. Ooh, this is a pretty purple. So it's interesting. It looks like it has like kind of white specks in it. And it's like a really light, kind of like um, light lavender and light lilac purple. So yeah, this one doesn't seem like it's as opaque as the other two, but still a really pretty color nonetheless. Okay, so I got three of the gel duo packs. What else we got here? Ooh, okay. I got a gel liner and eggplant. Okay, so I'm always happy to have gel liners, you guys. You know I'm loving doing nail art. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Really pretty color. Okay, I like that tip on it. Looks like it's a really nice, fine tip. Happy about that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I'm really excited so far, you guys. I'm loving everything I got. So, let's see. Ooh, I also got some cuticle oil. And I got cuticle oil in the flavor peach, okay? Or the scent peach. Okay, so far so good. I'm not mad at it. Let's see what it smells like, you guys. Okay, so the bottle is really cute. It's that stained or what is it called? Oh, it's that frosted glass. So it makes it look really nice and luxe. Let's see what it smells like. Mm. I dropped some on my hand, so it smells really, really good. Like, it smells like a really nice, fresh, juicy peach. So yeah, I'm happy to have this cuticle oil. I didn't mess up the bottle. <laughs> but it smells really good, so I like that. Wow, yeah. The cuticle all smells really, really good. Okay, so we got that. And then we got a couple of nail files, which is really awesome. So, wow, I got four nail files. Okay, these are the zebra files. I'm happy to be giving these a try. You guys know I'm a really big fan of my Young Nails files. I'll be excited to try out the not polished files. These do seem like they're of decent quality. So, liking that so far. So, I got these. Okay, and then it looks like last but not least. Okay, cool. I have a trio here of, I believe these are their powders. Very cool. Okay. So I got Half Baked. Okay. I got Narcos and I got Dirty Money. So I'm going to go ahead and get a closer look at these. So this is what Half Baked looks like. Ooh, 
that's really pretty. Kind of like a honey mustard gold color with some really beautiful gold shimmer in it, gold glitters, very gorgeous color. Narcos. Wow. And this is a really beautiful royal blue color as well. Loving that. And you know what's cool about this is that this one actually kind of matches the, um, this one actually kind of matches the royalty gel that I got. So these would be cool to kind of use together. And y'all know yellow is my favorite color, so I got dirty money. This is what this color, oh my gosh. Absolutely love it. Y'all know yellow is my favorite color. This color is stunning, okay? Yes, okay. <laughs> Overall, I'm not gonna lie y'all, I actually think I fared out really well with my small mystery box. I'm, I'm loving everything I got, so let me show you guys really quick all right you guys so this is everything i got in my small not polished mystery box and i must say i'm very happy with everything that i received i got three acrylics which was my primary goal with getting their mystery boxes i just wanted to try more of their acrylic powders because i've heard a lot of good things about them um although i have tried um one of their acrylic powders before um, I did experience a little bit of marbling with it and so I wanted to try more just to make sure it wasn't just me because like I said I've heard good things about it um, but yeah I got three of their acrylic powders I got three of their duos I got a peach cuticle oil which smells amazing a metallic liner some files and some half cover tips so I fared out pretty well with this because their acrylic powders alone are almost like $20 a pop these duos I believe are $15 a pop so very happy with my purchase very happy with everything I got and and I'm excited to see what I got in my medium mystery box. All right, y'all. So this is the medium mystery box. I am a lot happier now trying to unbox this because I was very satisfied with what I got in my small box. So let's go ahead and hop into what I received, okay? Let's kind of open this though. Alrighty. So again, I am a big fan of the packaging here. So this looks really nice and cute and luxe. I like the pink and red, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna have to unbox it kind of like sideways like this so you guys, so I can make sure I'm in frame. So let's go ahead and open this up here. Packaging is cute. Okay. Got a lot of peanuts here, so I'm gonna go ahead and move these over to the side. First thing I see here is this um looks like an ombre brush. So this ombre brush actually looks like a makeup brush. Um and it's kind of big for the nails. Um yeah, so I'm not really sure how. We're supposed to ombre with this, but I will give it a go and see, or I might end up just putting it in my, putting it in, putting it in with my makeup to like set my under eye powder or something like that, because that's what it looks like it's used for. Um, but yeah, so a lot of people get this in their box as well. We did get some more files. Okay, so this one is the zebra file in the 100 grit. Okay, I'm nervous to open up these little boxes, y'all. So let's see what's on this side over here. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got some extra, extra long. No, I think these are extendo. Yeah, these are extreme universal nail tips. So they can be long, straight, coffin, or stiletto. So these are like the ridiculously long nail tips. And um, I'm not mad at these because I think people use them in their practice hand. And who knows, I might actually give it a try with doing some extendo nails. But y'all, these go out pretty darn long, I must say. So I nice to have more of these in my collection. All right, looks like we also got another cuticle. Oh, yay! Okay, look, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. With the cuticle oils, I was hoping that I would get lavender because I absolutely love the smell of lavender. So I got a lavender cuticle oil. I'm actually really happy about that. Um, and the peach one from the small smells really good. So let's see what this lavender smells like, okay? Okay, let's see. Mm, I can smell it through the bottle. It smells good already. Hmm. Yeah, that smells really good. It smells like a nice, soft, powdery lavender scent. That smells really nice. So I'm really excited to have this. Very, very excited for that. Okay, so we got that. Next, we got some pigments, you guys. So I actually do not have any pigment powders in my collection. So I'm actually happy that they included this in my box. I've been wanting to try pigments in some of my nail art looks. So I'm happy to have this. So I got that. Ooh, and I got two of their metallic liners. So I got one in gold mine and I got one in eggplant. I believe eggplant came in my small box. Yeah, it did. And this is what it's looking like. It's a really pretty purple. So since I got a duplicate of this, um, I guess I'll be trying to put that into a giveaway. And then we got gold mine here. And it's a really beautiful kind of like rustic gold color. I really like the consistency of their liners. They're really nice and smooth and creamy. That's what gold mine looks like. Really pretty color. 
Okay, so I'm happy I got two of their liners. So in total, I got three now from the small box. Okay, we got some nail glues. All right, got the nail glue. And it looks like it came with 10 of them. Y'all know I'm into press on nails, so these will come in handy. Um, I guess let's start with this big one here. Okay, so we got the matching lacquer and gel polish duos. So let's open these up and see what I got. Okay, so the first one here I got is Jam, and it's this really beautiful, like, light blue color. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that blue a lot. I think I'm going to really like their gel polishes because the consistency of them are really nice. They're really nice. They kind of remind me a little bit of Madame Glam in a sense to where they're not really thick and they're not really thin. They're like a, they're kind of like the perfect consistency. So I'll be excited to put these to use and see how they perform. So I got that. Also got, oh, we got a yellow. How pretty. Okay. Um, it's called kindness. How beautiful is that, y'all? And let's remember, y'all, let's continue to be kind to one another, okay? So let's see what this is looking like. I'm loving the name and I'm loving the color of this. So this is what, oops. Can't get it open, can I? Okay, so this is what kindness looks like. I'm excited for this color. Ooh, it's a neon yellow, you guys. Very, very neon. Really beautiful. Love it. Okay. And what's interesting too is like they do come, like I said, it's the duo pack, so it comes with the regular regular polish and the matching gel. Um, so because I'm not really into regular polishes anymore, but it's so funny because recently, actually last night, my daughter demanded that I do her nails when I was in my nail studio, and so she got her first mani officially. I'll insert a picture of what that looks like, but yeah. Um, so I'll be using these regular polishes on my daughter because she's into getting her nails done now, thanks to mommy. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I'm happy with that color here. Next color we got here is Kitty Karma. That sounds cute. I like that name, very fun. And this is what that color looks like. Looks like a really beautiful, ooh, that's pretty. It looks like a really beautiful kind of almost magenta pink. That's really gorgeous. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's pretty, okay. So that's that. Um, Free Soul. That's interesting. It looks really similar to Let's Jam. Okay, no, it's different. It's like a lighter blue. Okay, so I got another blue in my box here. Okay, and I do like that they have like the swatches at the top here. Oh, so that's pretty. That's a really nice light blue color. I actually was looking for a light blue color like this so that I could do like some like uh, some more icicle nails or maybe snowflake nails or something for the holidays so this came right on time I like this I also got M124 okay um, this looks like, looks like another purple color here kind of like a light lavender color Let's see what that looks like okay well that's pretty it's like a mauvey purple color and that's really pretty, I like that. Okay, so we got this, okay. Last but not least, we got M102, okay. So right off the bat, I'm happy I didn't get any duplicates of the gel polishes. I saw that happening to a lot of people. I'm glad that did not happen to me. Um, and so let's take a look here. Ooh, yeah, that's a pretty color. All right, really gorgeous, really pretty. Okay, like that, like that. Let's see what else I got here. So, looks like we got, okay, so these are one ounce containers. And I got the foils, okay. So, I will say that when I saw people unboxing these, I wasn't super happy about seeing these in the boxes just because I would rather have acrylics. But uh, these are something you can easily mix with the clear or maybe like a blue. You can easily mix it with the colored acrylic or a clear acrylic to make your own. So um, I'm not super mad at having them because they are very pretty. But I got this beautiful orange color here. I got this really pretty blue. And I actually do have a blue acrylic that came in my small mystery box. So maybe I'll mix that with this and see what I come up with. And then I got this really beautiful green color here. But I do have a ton of Mylar. <laughs> um, and so I was afraid of getting these. I do have it, but um, I'm hoping that I have more acrylics than I do mylar so let's see what else is in here alrighty yeah we have more mylar okay so yeah that that's a little disappointing though so I got uh, three more of the mylars I think I got two of the greens in this one huh 
Yeah. So I got two of the same green Mylar in this one. And then I got the purple and I got the orange. So yeah. Not mad at it, but not happy with it either. I guess I'll just say that. So I got the neon yellow, the purple, the duplicates, the blue, and the orange. So yeah. So that means in here I only got three acrylics, which for a medium box, I definitely think probably should have included more. So, yeah, that's a little disappointing. But these are two ounce containers, so that's good. Alrighty. So yeah, so the three colors I got is um, Empire Style, clear and mambasita so let me go ahead and open this up with you guys and see what it looks like Ooh, that's pretty so it's kind of like this really deep kind of burgundy deep red color with some glitters in it really pretty perfect for this time of the year I did get clear you guys you can never go wrong with the clear so I'll be excited to try out the not polished clear um, see how it holds up to some of my favorite clears and then I also got Mambasita, okay, which is this really beautiful purple color. Looks like it spilled a little bit. Oops. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Really beautiful, okay. This is everything that was included in the medium mystery box. Um, I will say I'm a bit disappointed with the medium box simply because I only got three acrylic powders. And to be honest with you, I'm trying to build my acrylic collection. And so, yeah, that was what I was really hoping for with this box. I did pay $100 um, for this box. And so, you know, gel polishes weren't really what I was looking for. Mylars wasn't really what I was looking for. I was looking for more of their acrylics. And even with the acrylics I got, I'm happy I got the clear. These colors are pretty, but I was really hoping I would have gotten like some of their staple colors, like maybe Nude Panther. You know, so or even just like another like basic nude color. Um, overall, my thoughts on both the medium and small. Um, I will say I was definitely more satisfied with my small box than I was with this medium box because in my small, I was able to get three acrylics, three duos. I got the cuticle oil, I got the nail tips. Um, the only addition to it is some pigment powders, which you know, you can easily get that online for cheap. So, um <clears throat> Oh, I forgot too that it came with the file and the ombre brush. Um, oh, as well as the nail glue. So, I mean, it came with some items, but I, I feel like, was it worth $100? I mean, the value of it is worth $100 because, you know, these acrylic powders, again, are about $20 a pop. So that's 60 bucks right off the bat. But, you know, the point of the mystery box for me was to be able to build my acrylic collection. I wasn't able to do that. So, I mean, I'm not, you know, super, super mad, but just a little disappointed because um, I do think more could have been included. Um, and with the amount of stress that it took to even get the boxes, um, I think that also makes me feel like, they should have included uh, more acrylic powders, but that's just my opinion. That's not anything. That's not me saying anything bad about this company because, um, like I said, I've heard that their products are really amazing and really high quality. That's why I wanted to try them. That's why I wanted to showcase them for you guys. Um, to be honest, you know, I don't know that I really would have bought the mystery box if I didn't have a YouTube channel because, you know, I also want you guys to see these products up close, personal, and to see how they perform and stuff. And so I'm kind of, you know, buying these products in hopes of like showcasing them to you all so that you can see whether it's worth you spending your money on or not i don't know you guys let me know what your thoughts are um i do think that in the future it will be helpful for not polished to one make sure their website is up and running properly um to have like a better system in place afterwards to be able to respond to people's inquiries but reaching out to, on them to instagram was a successful route for me so i would recommend that to you guys if you have issues in the future and yeah i mean overall it was fun shopping the sale i don't know that i would repurchase again next year but who knows you know maybe they um kind of take into consideration what everybody has said about their boxes this year did you all shop the not polish um black friday mystery boxes if so what did you get did you like your box did you not like it i'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!